Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the show where Car and Driver editors, writers, contributors, and friends uh, gather to look at cars on the internet based on a challenge. This week's challenge is movie cars, cars made famous by movies or cars that we love from movies that we love. So um, that's the challenge. I set a budget of $20,000. Um, I probably were probably, it was a pretty generous budget, I think. Uh, Pearly, you want to uh, kick it off? See sure, can I, I'm going to start off with a song. Oh, I forgot to introduce you guys. That's John Pearly Huffman, contributor. Uh, Casey Colwell, deputy testing director. Uh, Jonathan Ramsey, who is a contributor. And Joey Caparella, who is a senior editor. And I think uh, Mr. Huffman, you want to kick it off to see what you uh, what your favorite movie or movie car was? I do. And I, uh, I was, I was going to start off with a more elaborate opening. But apparently, it's, it's not going to work. Oh, Herbie. It's Herbie which of course is a 1963 Volkswagen from one of the best movies in 1969. Uh, I, the original one. I don't care about any of the sequels or the remake. You don't like Kirby fully loaded with Lindsay Lohan? Sucks. And Michael, no, no, Lindsay Lohan and Michael Keaton is one of the best father-daughter <laughs> duos ever to grace the screen. <laughs> I saw that movie in theaters. I mean, Mike, Michael Keaton as a dad in any movie is... Absolutely. Yeah. What you're saying is, I thought Michael Keaton's dad moments peaked with Mr. Mom. So. <laughs> it was quite a bit earlier. Pearly, yeah. tell us about this car that's for sale. Well, this car was for sale and it was no longer available. This is this one's really bitching. This is the one I wanted, which was a, a really heavily modified 63 Beetle with a Type 4 engine, uh, 356 uh, Porsche suspension and brakes. But it was sold. So I found this one, which is a 63. It isn't a Herbie replica. How much? $19,900. Oh, you're right under budget. Yeah. And uh, the good thing is, is that it's got the right roof. That's important. I feel like there's lots of plot points that involve the canvas roof. <laughs> <laughs> I really do think it's, it's, it's essential to the plot. Have you ever actually seen the movie, Joey? Yeah, yeah, I have. I watched it all the time. When I was okay. In the original, the, the cloth roof actually matters. It does. And this is 63, which is the right year. And this one's all original, which I like. I is don't it, like it's the, not restored? It's, all, it's an original car? It's a restored original car. Oh, OK. Uh, so restored I mean, I think, original spec. I think, I think this would be cleaning up. Was there a fire in there? What was that? Uh... <laughs> I, mean, I don't I think like something made walls. it its home. It looked, it looked animal-ish. <laughs> I don't like the white walls, but you know, it's a 40 horsepower 1963 Beetle. And uh, have you driven a Beetle before, Peter Pearly? Yeah, my brother had one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're kind of terrible. At yeah, the same but they're kind of entertaining too, and they make driving interesting. Yeah, they're very immediate. I mean, one of the reasons why I get the feeling why Porsche's the way they are is they react much the same way to the immediacy of the input. And uh, that's that's kind of makes them a kind of a pure driving experience. Yeah, you got to definitely pay attention when you only have what is yeah. it like 40 or 46 horsepower or 48 horsepower and they're so dinky because you know wedging yourself behind the wheel even if you're somebody who's like tony's size is still kind of a challenge you've also got to leave an hour earlier when you've got <laughs> horsepower. you know i miss seeing him on the road there's something <laughs> would you something... do it up with all the herbie graphics uh, i would i would i would definitely make it into a more performance oriented car you know, with like the, the cars of the movie were were uh, made by, were produced by Max Balchowski, who was kind of a legendary uh, car prepper who did the cars in Bullet, the cars in uh, Vanishing Point, also the significant racer on the West Coast in the '60s. Let's take a look at the actual livery one that sold. How much was that one going for? It was like twenty-seven. Oh, so you were way over budget. Well, but look at it; it's really nice. <laughs> yeah, but the, I mean, we have a budget. I don't. <laughs> Well, it's sold anyway, so it's all kind of irrelevant. It's all kind of irrelevant. This one's really cool. That is this, cool. And this what one has it? this one. It has like the this custom fifteen by six engine with Michelin Pilot sports on it. Hmm. And is uh, that it has stickers that weren't on the car? On the gear shift, is that the like the reverse tab to get the the shifter into reverse? There's a like a finger hold. Yeah, go up to the shifter, Pearly. Yeah. This is very detailed. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that is a reverse pull. It's a it's a really nice car, and uh, this one this one's powered by a Type Four engine to call back to last week's four eleven. 
And, uh, you know, these, uh, this one has been well sorted. And if you take a look here, I mean, look at that. It's, not, it's just a bitch with those wheels and tires on it. No, those aren't those are, ports, are they? Are those they? are 356 Honestly. style wheels and 356 brakes. I'm not sure what Michelin that is. Not a summer tire. Yeah, that's a nice tire. Then. For this car, that's a nice tire. Probably. I was going to say, uh, too much tire would make it <laughs> crazy. He, he yeah. sounds like he's trying to sell the tires, if not the whole car. 356 front and rear brakes, front spindles, and a Z-Off steering box. Look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of modifications to it. Yeah, it's all cleanly Were done. Were the cars in the movie modified in a similar way? The cars in the movie use Porsche 356 engines. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. A little more power. A lot yeah. more power. And uh, they used a lot of, it was, I told you, it's Max Balchowski. And, uh, you know, they were really well modified. They ran them in real races. Wait, yeah. so Herbie wasn't alive? No, Herbie wasn't alive. <laughs> oh. Sorry. All but right. Then, really, just, any more details on that car that's for sale? How many miles were on it? Let's see. I didn't notice how many miles were on it. 82,504. Right. That might have been its like second or third time around, though. Who knows? But yeah. although it looked really nice. <laughs> and whoever bought it knew is dead. All right, Pearly, we're going to move on. Is that it? You're done with me? Yeah, I like your no, choice. I, I have a trailer and I have music. <laughs> we'll play the trailer. If you win, if we decide that you're the winner, we'll play the trailer at the end. How's that? Okay. But wait, there's more. All right. That's your second Volkswagen in a week. Yeah, what's well, next? I think it needs to make up for, my, for so many Japanese cars I did. All right, uh, Jonathan Ramsey. I have no idea what you've selected, and I'm kind of terrified. Yeah, I mean, judging by his background, it is going to be, <laughs> it go. is going to be some craziness. Do you want to? Do you want to get all the comments out now before I show you? The <laughs> that way, we'll save some time with my first, speech. First of all, Jonathan, two of those are TV stars, not movie stars. Uh, true, but that's why I ended up choosing the 1976 GM Motorhome. Oh. Stripes? Stripes. Stripes. Wrong. That's right. Wrong. Just That's end awesome. it now. Thumbs up, you win. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and just, since, can you see that? Can you see the video? Uh, uh, not yet. No, it's no. not playing. They might uh, have it protected so you can't screen share it. Oh, yeah. man, because they don't have it on YouTube. But it was, but yes, yeah, from Stripes. It was also in Twister. Uh, this guy right oh, here. I love that movie. Um, and uh, there's actually this. This is the one I would buy. It's fifteen thousand five hundred. Um, for some reason on this site, I guess I think you can only put three photos, but it's the uh, seventy-eight Classic Royale. They were. Um, I mean, GM knocked it out of the park with this thing. It was. They took the powertrain essentially from the Oldsmobile. Tornado and Cadillac, uh, El Dorado at the time. So it started with a four, 455, I think, and then went to the 403 for the last two years. Yeah, these uh, are front drive. Yeah, they're front drive. Um, yeah, Being made, made very low, they had a flat floor. Can you see this, the YouTube video? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. That was the, the rear to keep the back low and then mute that. that. The front, what? I was saying mute the video if you were going to keep playing it. Oh, the video. This is going to be a hard one to beat, Jonathan. This is yeah. Crazy. This is pretty cool. Yeah. This uh, is so which cool. movie is your favorite with this car in it? Oh, Stripes. Stripes. Yeah. yeah. I saw Stripes in the theater when I was six years old. We made our babysitter take us. I had two older sisters, so I was like, "Wow, that's quite that's quite the movie when you're six years old." Yeah, I saw Stripes. No what this movie is? Yeah, there are some greasy shots in that. Oh yeah, my movie. babysitter was like, "Um, maybe you shouldn't be in this movie." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's exactly when you need to see Stripes. <laughs> my story, my, yeah, I, my I movie saw, story is very similar. I saw this movie in the theater when I was 22. Um, uh, well, there's, so they made like 12,100 of them and there's like 8,200 8, of them still on the road. There's a registry. There's like this underground GM motorhome uh, love fest. So that, are you saying you, all, all 100 of these tabs are open to GMC motorhomes right now? <laughs> That's well. <laughs> I'm going to buy 30 of them. So <laughs> that is, uh, this was from the original sales leaflet. Uh, and I mean, how could you not? Yeah. Uh, they came, GM built them all, designed them, built them at a GM. Look at this floor plan. Is yours a 26 or a 23? 26. Come on now. But I mean, <laughs> come on. 
but <laughs> what's the name what's the name of the motorhome and stripes what do they call it em50 assault vehicle there the you G go em50 urban, urban. urban. Urban assault vehicle. Urban assault vehicle. Yeah. And then there's, oh, here, this was, well, this is what it looked like. Yeah. There it is. Awesome. Look at that beauty. And they, yeah, they only have one door, too, don't they? That you get, you come in through the side, through that side. Yeah. Door. You got to come in right there through that door. Um, is there a driver's door? No. No. Oh, weird. No, you like <laughs> walk up to the bridge. Is, do you have a shot? I hope you don't bridge? roll onto that side. <laughs> You know, the thing is that this is the first motorhome that was actually good looking. It was. I mean, they, this was the, in its assault vehicle as they're, uh, they've just killed a tank and are about to shoot an outpost with missiles that come out of the top. Wait, are they, they're in, are they in, they in what was yeah, then the Czech, Czech, well, Czechoslovakia? The Czech Republic, yeah, Czechoslovakia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, fighting all, all these the plot points. <laughs> in well, I like the one that you, the one that you picked's got the dual air conditioners too, with the uh, so it's been modified pretty well. Yeah, the nice thing about one of the nice things about them is they were built to GM standards, and you know motorhomes are often unreliable and kind of crappy and cobbled together from various different parts. Yeah, yeah it's like nothing two, fits two, together. Three. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, this was two to a degree, but you know, General Motors built them, so they were they were built in Pontiac too. They were, they, they were built to GM's high 1970s standards. Well, uh, I always said. Compared to the motorhome standard of 1970, that is huge. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Whenever, I'm, whenever I see a motorhome, I always like playing the guessing game where you try to figure out where the taillights and headlights came from. <laughs> these came like from it'll a be a motorhome band. and it'll have like Oldsmobile Alero headlights. Well, yeah, what's, what's funny too is like, so sure. these things are going for like 15 grand. Uh, uh, you know, a 70s motorhome, any other 70s motor, motorhome is like 500 bucks. Oh, yeah. Worth yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, because A, a they weren't taken care of and, and B, it's like at some point somebody lived in the thing and just stopped cleaning it. So, you know, you have I mean, to be gutted. Think, but these are, these were, it looks like a lot of these were actually cared for. Well, I think that people are still using these as motorhomes as opposed to stationary life, life stage vehicles. Well, yeah. that one looks pretty stationary. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, so, someone probably lived in that, but it, uh, you know, a lot of them still go, are asking 60 grand and more for the ones that have really been, um, taken care of but right like i said there's only four thousand of them are dead the rest 8200 are still surprising that's good good numbers for these i like your i like your pick jonathan yeah uh so yeah it was uh i'm all about stripes and francis and now were, was weren't these weren't these mostly fiberglass the body panels well they were mostly but they were there was aluminum or um, all on the top and then aluminum down to the joins where the body panel is curved on the inside. But I mean, again, the fact that it was designed by one company, it wasn't a body being put on someone else's chassis. You know, they used a lot of the power, I mean, the entire powertrain from the Oldsmobile. Um, the Tornado. They have this, an, an air suspension you can level at the campsite with, uh, and these are, these are tandems, but not dualies. So, yeah. Well, the, the other thing I like is, is that, um, you know, GM spent the money and actually had glass made for the front of the of the, of the motor. Yeah, I mean this with this curved windshield. I mean that's they, that's they stopped making them because they realized they could build ten pickups for every single motorhome they made. Yeah, the the view out the front of those is amazing. I mean, it's like a bus. It's just terrific. Yeah, this this may this may be the best vehicle GM built in the 1970s. <laughs> Did we ever test one? No, we never tested one. The only the only RV that Car and Driver has tested is the Vixen, the BMW powered one. Yeah, the BMW. All right. Did we test? Did we test one of those big fancy? We're moving things? on. Okay. Wrap it up. All okay, right. we're done. Uh, KC, you're up to bat next. What All movie, right. What movie have you selected? Uh, I have selected also one that uh, that I saw, I believe, when I was six years old. I was either five or six. I can't remember. Um, and I convinced my parents to uh, take me um, to go see uh, RoboCop on opening night. Yes. And um, if, uh, sorry, I'm getting there. And if you, you know anything, it's, it's the Ford Taurus is the star uh, yeah. of, of RoboCop, aside from sucks, all the other. Not the six, the 6,000? The 6,000. SUX. SUX. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, and this was a movie I definitely should not have been watching when I was that age. Um, but I did find um, a Taurus SHO 
a five speed, which mm. I, I was going to originally just go with like a five hundred dollar Taurus, but then I came across this thing because I've wanted to 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 find an SHO um, for a long time, but you can't find these things for sale. No, and, that's the later generation too. Those are this is yeah, rare. this is the so yeah, the first gen was just the first gen S, SHO was just eighty nine to ninety one, and then this was the I mean they call it second gen. It was just a refresh. It's the same car. Um, it was a it's a better looking car. Yeah, but um, this is actually the know, Taurus that you'd want to own. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, no and, but, but RoboCop, I'm trying. I'm, I'm pretty. If I remember correctly, like the um, they shot that whole movie before the Taurus had even been shown. And eighty six uh, was when it first came out, right? What year was the movie? Uh, movie was eighty six. Yeah, but I think they they shot the movie the previous year, mm. and it was kind of like this. You know, that's what I mean. You can see in the, in the, I mean, they put like funky headlights in it and, you know, a bunch of other things, but these well, were all the futuristic, cops. I mean, it's a futuristic car, especially in the mid eighties. Yeah. yeah. Cause when that came out, wasn't it like a huge deal? Like it was really. Oh really yeah. Yeah. Huge. I mean, so like, so young, so I'm like as young as you can be to be a Gen Xer, everybody had a Taurus wagon. <laughs> Tony's probably, and so Tony's a few years older than me, but Tony, you probably never like rode in a Taurus wagon as a kid, right? Oh Yeah. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Well, then, never mind. I mean, yeah. Uh, tell us about tell us about this show that's for sale. How many miles? It's not well, too it's, expensive. You're well under budget, which uh, is yeah, cool. it's well it's under budget. Photo? That's why it, there's not. Yeah, it's just one photo. That was the so so it kind of sucks for you know this whole thing. Oh, 117,000 um, miles. 117. Um, you know, runs and drives well. Um, these things are a nightmare. SHOs in particular are kind of. Um, maintenance nightmares um but uh they were really rad cars when um mm. when they came out and uh this is kind of towards the end of its life i think this is a comparison test from i guess not quite towards the end of its life but uh, in oh is this the maxima the maxima se with the dual overhead yeah. cam engine wins right yep yep yep, yep. Oh, i love that maxima yeah 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 but i mean these cars i mean the the i mean sho was quickest um and uh you know you kind of the star thing was just... can, can, can i show you the best view of the uh the best view of the show taurus no please <laughs> the one, one of my one of my friends in high school his father worked for ford and he would take out his father's sho and he borrowed it for a week and brought it back with zero tread on the front tire <laughs> <laughs> just constant burnouts yeah uh, SHO for anyone who doesn't know, that's super high output. And so, what was the output for compared to the regular Taurus? Uh, two forty or something? No, it's two twenty. Um, and, and then I think they the came three eight, out. The three eight in the regular Taurus is one hundred sixty, and then I think there yeah, was so, a three three liter that was one hundred forty horsepower. Yeah. And two twenty in the early nineties was a yeah. lot. Two twenty. Yeah, and and you also got to remember. I mean, this car weighed. Let's see how much it weighed. Um, did I miss it? Did I miss it? I mean, it went 140 miles an hour. Yeah, I mean, these were only these were only 3,400 pounds mm. for a, a moderately roomy sedan. Yeah, right? that's a 911 now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's right, Jonathan. That's it's lighter than a 911 now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Man. So, um, I like. Yeah, it. these are cool. I like the car. It's, it's Dennis, I remember Dennis one. Isabel had one. Um, my buddy's older brother and, and used to terrorize the neighborhood. <laughs> I think Conan O'Brien famously has or has. Uh, yeah. I think he's he still has it. He's yeah. only 27 years. Yeah, when my yeah. friend, when my friend's father took the car back to whatever garage that Ford has to service the vehicles. Was it the Mez? No, I don't know. <laughs> and uh <laughs> they were like, yeah, everybody comes back here with the front tires gone on the shows. <laughs> and is is six grand a good number for this, Tony? A uh, Tony, my uh, KC. I mean, I, it's negotiable. I, I don't, with only only being one photo, it's it's who knows if there's uh, if there's something right. nightmarish going on. But um, I was gonna say, is that is that saggy at the back to anyone else? It looks yeah. like it. I, I, I don't know if that's hot. if that's uneven dirt road. Mm. Like, mm. I, I don't know about that. That dirt road. There's, so, there's something going. A lot of sag. <laughs> Let, let me show you the best view of the car because I, I think it's the one photo really doesn't right, do the Casey, justice. Unshare and then we'll see. Pearly, you <laughs> see what kind seconds. of train wreck's about to happen. 
I love it. Sideshow Bob. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, 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 this, this engine yeah. is gorgeous. All right, and, I'm there. And, you know, it's it's all alloy, which is rare for the I'm 80s. There. And it's <laughs> Yamaha built. Do, you, uh, do I have to unshare you? Okay, I'm unsharing. Jeez, God, please. But you were right, Pearly. You were right. Yeah, when yeah. that car stops running, you can just mount that intake in your office. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, one of, it's one of the most beautiful engines ever put in a car. All right, Joey Caparello, you are up Okay, to so I went a little more weird with my choice, <laughs> which is an animated movie. <laughs> I love this it. Is a, this is I a Japanese it. director called Miyazaki, who's very famous. Um, and this is from a movie called Spirited Away. And um, I don't know if I can play this. Can you see this? Yeah, I can see it. Um, so I'll just let this play while I talk about it. The car does not really figure into the movie very much. It's, you know, it's really just the beginning. Um, but what I always appreciated about this is that there's so much detail. It's an Audi A4, first generation V5 A4. And like the animation to me is just like really amazing in the level of detail on the car. You know, the yeah, door handles are hand correct. There, you, when you see like the shot of the interior, it's like, you know, you see the three vents. Um, it's just, and then there's a part where he, the, the dad says, oh, we've got all wheel drive. And, you know, the director apparently used sound from a real Audi A4 1.8 turbo. And like just the level of specificity, I think is really amazing. So where's the um, one you're, where's the one that you found? So I found one, I tried to find exactly as close as I could to this spec, which That's doesn't wrong. really exist because apparently they didn't have a dark gray like this. And they don't wear um, seat belts in the back seat in Japan, apparently. When they're well, on. yeah, she's not wearing hers. Um, <laughs> what year is this movie? From? Okay, so this. Oh movie my god, is this from, is some road rage. Well, it's a little complicated. So there's you see the three pedals, so you know it's a stick shift. Um, he did that movie, properly. He braked before pressing depressing the clutch. <laughs> yeah, he did. push the clutch. <laughs> um, anyway, so this the movie was released in Japan before it came to the U.S., but in the U.S. it was I think 2002. Um, and so I found a car that looks. Pretty similar, I think. It's yeah, in the same, it's still, it's in the same place. Gray. Yeah, it's in the forest. It's in the same place. Yeah, it's pretty close, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get as close as I could. Um, this A4 is in Michigan. It's a 1.8T. It's a manual, and it looks like it's in pretty good shape. It is mm -hmm. nice. You know, when my when uh, my wife had one of these, and when we got married, this is what she was driving as a B5. And it was interesting because the car is so important to Audi. Because remember, this is that came out when Audi was way down in the dumps. Yeah. And then this car completely revitalized it. And she yeah. had it on a lease. And the residual value that we paid down to was so much less than its actual value that we bought the car and then sold it and made $4,000. Oh, nice. Wow. And yeah, uh, my, my brother had one, but it was a 2.8 liter. And it was a disaster. So, so I, and you I wonder why Audi of America was down in the dumps. <laughs> no, hers, hers was a 2.8. It's still around town. The guy who bought it still drives really? it. Really? That's surprising. I, I've it's, heard that the 1.8 is better than it's, you know, it's a They are probably. great cars. Yeah, this was a watershed car for them. Because before and they're that, so Audi nice to drive and it feels so solid. I mean, I just have always loved this. And thing. the design, I mean, it defines Audi design for like, you know, 15 to 20 years. Yeah. yeah. Still. And yeah, exactly. And the car, the, the, you got to remember, this is right after 60 minutes tried to destroy him. Not right after. Right. Unintended right. acceleration, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I also oh, like. You just, wait, wait, you think, you think you this stallion is. Back. Wait, 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 wait. You don't think this stallion is derivative of like A8? Well, this came out first, though. It came out first. And then the A8 did look pretty much identical at the time. So the and A6 the A4 came out first. But remember, they were still doing the Audi 5000. When did this car come out? 95. This car came out in 96. Okay. Or 96. But we're, they, they were doing the Audi 5000 look before this, you know, with the flush glass and the kind of, yeah. you know, not, not, as, not as good looking. Those are Also, good. like, if you flip back and forth, you see the, the three vents there and the three vents there. I mean, it's pretty good. Pretty good animation. That shift knob's not on straight, though. I don't know if I want to buy it. Yeah, they need to screw it in. Fun car to drive. <laughs> yeah. And it's a great movie. I highly recommend it. All Spirit right, thanks, Joey. Uh, now, are you guys ready for the winner? <laughs> I've already seen the winner. <laughs> Boom. No, no movies had arrow stars. Oh, look at that. 
This okay. is from Goodfellas. You know, this is one of my favorite movies. And this is one of the best parts of this movie is that crazy day that Henry Hill has where he has to run all the errands, running guns, cocaine. Right. The helicopters are chasing him. And he does it all in this beautiful Cadillac Coupe de Ville Phaeton. And so I found exact down to the model year, everything about it. And uh, 10 grand, 80,000 miles. Uh, this one actually What's has Stone the, song, what Stone song is playing during that? There's a few Stone songs. Uh, it's on this website. This guy sort of was like, if you want to be Henry Hill, this guy gives you the basics. <laughs> wow, he's got all the specs in his car. Got, how to get him, Walter. <laughs> and he's still trying to get the pasta sauce done. Tony, you yeah, can exactly. pull that look his brother, his brother has to keep stirring the sauce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I mean, I, I absolutely love that movie. And uh, Wait, so this what's guy, going on with that bumper? Yeah, so, it's weird. It's missing the plastic pieces dissolve. So this guy started, he posted this car before he repaired it and then he repairs it. And as you can see, it's down to, I mean, the interior, the exterior colors are identical to Henry Hills. Um, but yeah. Same so plate? Repaired. Does he have the same plate? I don't know. I, I don't <laughs> know. It looks like he might. It is in New York. And uh, so it's 10 grand here. And then he dropped the price to eight grand in the most recent listing. Now, the worst part about it is that it's powered by the, the uh, Oldsmobile diesel, which I actually kind of love. Even in the movie, it was powered by the Oldsmobile diesel? No, no, in the movie, he had, I'm assuming in the movie, he has the gas one. But this one, <laughs> this one that I found, the only difference is that it has the Oldsmobile 350 diesel. So it doesn't have kind of a fatal flaw. flaw. Yeah, otherwise, Pearly would have had the 425, exactly. <laughs> the, thing, the, thing, the thing is, that if you go by the quality of the movies, you win. Because Good Guys is one of the greatest movies of all time. And my car is identical to the one in the movie. Down and it's, an, it's an amazing. Is a little but better. It's not, but, yeah. but it's not identical because it's, it's got a diesel. <laughs> it's <not> identical. <laughs> all right, Jonathan. It's, it's, it's right. totally identical. It's I, not I found, be... Jonathan, I sourced an engine, okay? And I'm still oh, here. We go. <laughs> Uh, that's a three that's not the right engine i know well it's not you know, 425 <laughs> isn't available as a great engine <laughs> and as you may have guessed jonathan i found some nice white walls for uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> is that in the in the movie that has white walls well i mean this one has white walls too but they're probably pretty old i'm guessing uh, yeah. i don't know the the thing is that car only is only really great until when it has a helicopter chasing it <laughs> yeah right here it is you know here's henry chasing Beautiful handling. He's, he's, always, he's, oh, always yeah. looking, he's always looking up trying to see if there's the helicopter. Yeah, exactly. He's just ripping lines all day. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of the down. I mean, that's the last day of Henry Hill, basically. And it's this mad day. The Cadillac is central to the plot. <laughs> you know, the thing is that this is my second favorite Cadillac. There, there are three Cadillacs in this movie that matter. There's the one, the pink one, where they, where they start off doing Layla. Right, and, right, right. And, yeah. and the people are dead in it. And then there's the Seville, where the guy who's got the toupee is scarotted in the Seville. Right after and, he buys it, yeah. After he buys yeah, I think I think I want the Seville. But I mean, no, this the pink thing one is, is after clean. he bought it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This thing is super clean. Eighty thousand miles. You know, the Oldsmobile diesel will get twenty five miles to the gallon. So, so what? That good. Twenty five. Uh, it's, no, it's no EM fifty ton. That's all. And I'm the saying. the fake. <laughs> The fake convertible top was part of this this Phaeton package, and that's that's pretty rare too. So, mm. so I think I win this week. But uh, so that brings us to the uh, verdict. That's what we have to show. determine. So now we will vote on each other's picks and pick our favorites and crown a winner. Uh, what do we think about Pearly's uh, Herbie Love Bug? I'm um, actually I got to give him thumbs up. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> I, just got, I just got bullied into a thumbs well, up. Well, you know. I live like a schmuck. I, get, I ask for, I get egg noodles and ketchup. Uh, Pearly, I don't know what you're talking about, but. Um, what's <laughs> the last clue of the good guys. It's the end of, of Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Oh. <laughs> when, he's in, yeah. when, he's in, when he's in witness protection. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I'm sorry. I apologize. You know, not Pearly, to completely derail it, but do you know, is it the, is it the, the um, Steve Martin, is it My Blue Heaven? Yeah. Right. That's supposedly based on uh, on uh, on and Henry Hill um, oh. in his protection. I think oh, he claims really? that he yeah I think he claim I mean he's Henry Hill has since died but I think he claims that uh, he he wrote that or gave that idea to somebody and then somebody wrote it but yeah that was yeah Henry that Hill was, was like great... could you imagine if you were like in the Midwest and and Henry Hill's like uh, ripping through your grocery store 
Oh, Henry, Henry, Hill, Henry Hill ended up going back to prison. He was great on Stern, though. Yeah, he was on Stern yeah. all the time. Yeah, he, he just wouldn't. Yeah, he, he continued to uh, to be a criminal in, in yeah. you know. All right, Pearlie, what's your favorite car? You uh, know, I believe, he deserve, I believe he deserves the win this year, this week. <laughs> and that is Jonathan's GMC Motorhome. <laughs> that's going to be tough to beat. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm sorry. That's, that's a great choice, a great Brilliant. vehicle. And it's something I think all of us would like to have just to drive around for a while. All right, Jonathan is up next for judging. Definite thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Cool. I learned something new. I didn't know about that at all. <laughs> Easy win. You got to see Stripes. Oh, yeah. Stripes is good, Joey. Stripes yeah. is a pretty funny movie. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it's kind of, uh, it's Harold Ramis directed that, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, is, or, no, he's in it, isn't he? Is I he think he directed it. He's I think out. he directed it as well. All right, Jonathan. What I could be wrong. I car? could be wrong. Uh, I, oh, man. Um, I found the exact car. Here we, go. We, engine. We, need to, we need to compare definitions of exact. <laughs> I would, I, would um, uh, uh, I, I, I propose a motion that allows him to vote for himself just this week. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Casey. I appreciate it. I think it's going to be safe. I, I, Ivan Reitman directed Stripes. Thank you. That's, yeah, it was Ivan Reitman. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, uh, Jonathan, what's your favorite? Actually, it's close between uh, between the three, the Henry Hill, uh, Cadillac, the Miyazaki, and Herbie. And I'm actually going to go with, with Miyazaki, with the A4, with the cartoon A4. I thought that's a cool choice. Yeah. It's, it's a great movie. You've seen it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's really I mean, good. I'm not saying the, the detail. That's an exact replica of the A4. I don't think it has the same wheels. <laughs> the right engine too, <laughs> and the right engine. <laughs> All right, Casey. Casey's Taurus SHO. I love an SHO. Oh man, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's cool. I get it. The engine now. Put a coffee. Make it turn it into a coffee. Table. Um, I, I am gonna. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, what was? Uh, wait, oh yeah, never mind. Um, sorry. What's your favorite? Oh yeah, it's 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 the uh, it's the EM50. Oh, I mean, <sighs> I'm sorry. I mean, like, I, thought, I, uh, yeah. I, 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 I love, I yeah, it's 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 the EM50. I mean, come on, who and who was expecting that? The the '70s car movies, early '80s car movies. There was the car. There was what Duel. Like there wasn't anything fun, crazy, wild, and they had a motorhome. Yeah. Well, so you can and, see motorhome. And since I got. Since I got fact checked on Stripes Director, um, the uh, uh, the A8 predates the A4 by about. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. It just yeah, uh, the, it went on sale in the U.S. They did look yeah. like identical. And, and yeah. the, A, the A8 didn't sell in the volumes the A4 did. The A4. You don't out, say. Obviously. But it, 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 it launched before. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go on sale in the U.S. until like '97, I think. Yeah, it, it was it was it was a later debut in the U.S. for sure, but All it was right, on sale. Uh, Joey's A4. Yeah, it's a good car. All right, reluctantly. Yeah. I was going to give you a half, but... <laughs> You're is that a half? <laughs> I think I'm going to say my favorite is Herbie, because I just used to watch that movie so much when I was a kid. The nostalgia factor is doing it for me. I didn't get a single vote. <laughs> Deservedly so. Sorry, not this week. You know, you, you, Tony, you, you should take comfort in the fact that you really did pick the best movie. I picked the best car from the best movie. No, you picked the best movie, not the best car. <laughs> I like the, the Volvo at the end. I like the Volvo when uh, when Henry Hill's wife is uh, is going to get money from Robert De Niro, and he's like, "No, no, 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 just going out there." And she's like, "No, my mother's sick. I gotta go." And she gets in it's like a two forty sedan. Well, it's her mom's car. She's borrowing her mom's. That's yeah, her mom's car. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Which is exactly that. It's like that. Is that that's that's inspired casting. All right. For, yeah, the entire yeah, movie is inspired casting. Wait, who do you? Deville, Deville Phaeton with the Oldsmobile Diesel. Let me see. I like the on. color. The color alone. Yeah. You got to change the engine, and you don't change it to a small block Chevy. Jonathan looks so reluctant. Okay. Oh my God! You've been, you've been dance. You got all <laughs> thumbs up. Just be happy with it. All right, and my favorite is clearly the the motorhome, the GMC motorhome. You killed it this fireworks. week. Fireworks! Fireworks! Oh, exactly. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you redeemed yourself after the bi turbo that nobody but me liked. <laughs> <laughs> Which I still I've been going over that with the judges all week, trying to figure <laughs> out what <laughs> happened. What happened? Review and tape. Like review and tape. Been. I got a Zapruder film. <laughs> I'm gonna break down. Oh my goodness! That's right. a great choice, Jonathan. He's just awesome. 
All right, well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Um, if you enjoyed it, uh, feel free to leave some comments about your favorite movie cars in the comments and uh, throw us a like and uh, subscribe. And you know what I'm going to ask? Trailer? You know, How old were you when you saw Stripes? Answer that in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> or would it want to see the Herbie trailer? <laughs> uh, not right now. You didn't win. <laughs> All right. Um, thanks, and we'll see you guys next week. Are you stuck in a dead end job? We're going to be killed. Oh, no. Just keep your hands not on the killed. wheel and slow down. Not killed. <laughs> <laughs> Personal problems got you down. You can't go. All the plants are going to die. Well, the U.S. Army can turn your life around. Before I knew it, she was walking next to me. Singing do what did it, did it, dumb did it do. Join a whole new breed of professionals. Learn what it's like to feel like a man. Get your body into incredible those shape. Muscles, I love those muscles. Dillman! Master important career skills. Oh, what are you gonna do with that? This <laughs> and this. <laughs> Who's your friend? <laughs> Who's your buddy? <laughs> I am, aren't I? And represent your country in foreign lands. So if you're a man who likes to take charge of your own life, so am I to understand that you men completed your training on your own? That's the fact, Jack. That's the fact, Jack. And this looks like your kind of challenge. Green killer, you're a lean, mean, violent machine. I'll do it. Join Bill Murray. In stripes. This could be the best experience of your life. What the? A <laughs> surprise party! I'll kill you! Whose idea was this? Boom shaka like a boom shaka like a boom shaka like a boom! You had hair like this, wouldn't you enjoy blow drying it too? Uh, yeah, I would.